first thing we're going to do is uh, get into pose mode and pose it down more a little bit, the arms. And then we'll just go back into object mode and then hold onto the body and export it to an OBJ. And then I put it on my desktop so it's easier to grab. Press selection only and name your file. And then you're going to load it into Marvelous Designer. And then you're going to want to start creating your top. So I pressed that little polygon button up there and then I just started placing points around. So the front of our shirt is done. I'm just going to change the color so that you can uh, see it better. Now hold in the top and press Command R or Control R and it'll duplicate it. And then you just want to place it to the back. That's the back of the shirt. Then hold on it and press Flip Normal. And then you're going to want to press the sewing tool and start sewing the sides and everything to each other. Make sure to leave holes for the arms. Then you're going to press the arrow at the top and simulate the shirt like this. And then you can just drag it around a little bit so it could fit all the way through. And there's like two holes right there, but we're going to fix them after. Then we're going into the UV editor. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So drag around and scale it. So basically, I just grab the grab tool and I just drag it out a little bit. Just enough to take off the holes. And then go back to your simulation. And now we're going to simplify the mesh. So we're going to go down there, press remesh, and it's going to clean it up more. See, now it looks more cleaner. And we'll sculpt and cover those holes up again. Now we're going to export it out, so just drag on that, press export, obj, selected, name your file, and then make sure you have the same settings like that. Then we're going back to Blender and we're going to import that mesh, import obj, press your mesh, and it's going to go. And then we're going to... Uh, rig it and press the bones and then the mesh press body layer and bind to armature on the Amistar add-on tool Then we're going to export it out as a DAE file So now it's rigged and we go back to Second Life and upload that mesh Press mesh model and then press your mesh. So right here, you can see your mesh. I'm going to change the triangle limits to zero on all of them. Check if it's rigged. It's, and press include skin weight if it's not already checked. Then you upload it. So now it's in your objects right there. It's going to pop up.
Now we're gonna put the top on. And there you go, it's on correctly for the most part. Now we need to make a texture. So go to Photoshop or GIMP and open up that UV that they um, give to you when when you first save your mesh, it'll give you um, the diffuse PNG or JPG. So go on and like, I just start shading everywhere. I don't really know how to texture much. I'm just trying. So just like shade it all, make it shiny. You could add like logos and stuff on it. So I edit it off screen. Now I'm gonna upload it. So press the texture. I go to local texture so that I don't have to keep uploading and wasting my L's. So I'm gonna put that on there. So now you have your shirt. It's not the best, but it's on the body and it's textured and rigged.